Hi, welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to get rid of these admin, WordPress, annoying nag screens, plugin updates, rating, and marketing stuff that you find on your dashboard whenever you install a famous plugin. Let me show you. I'll go to plugins and let me just install another famous plugin. This happens with both the famous ones and the not so famous plugins. Basically, every plugin tries to market themselves. So if I click on popular and uh, let's say I just install this plugin, which is duplicate post that basically duplicates any post type. I'll simply activate that. Well, that's a great thing. Once the plugin is activated, you can see that now this asks me for my email address and all that stuff, right? And this basically shows up most of the time and you have to individually dismiss all these notices. But in this tutorial, I'll show you a simple solution which will get rid of all this. And this even happens with WordPress core updates, WooCommerce and some plugins may ask you to rate them. Some plugins may ask you uh, buy something or upgrade to a premium version. So all this marketing stuff, all this stuff which you don't actually need will get rid of all those. So head over to plugins. We'll use a plugin to get rid of plugins. Magic, right? See, you can see that this screen is consistent and it's really annoying. I don't like this. So I'll just click on add new and in the search field, just type admin space notices. And when you type that, it's this plugin which says disable admin notices individually by creative motion. It has over 100,000 installs and over 328.5 star ratings. Just install and activate this plugin and this will get the job done for us. I'll click on activate. The plugin is installed and activated. Now go to settings and click on hide admin notices. And from here, just click on all notices that will get rid of every notice, right? You don't have to pick anything else and just click on the save button on the top right corner of the plugin screen. And just like that, the magic happens. Now you go to your dashboard, no marketing stuff. Uh, and if I disable that plugin, you'll see those marketing screens again. So if I deactivate the plugin, let's say, and I see the used plugin screen again, right? I activate that and it's gone. It's that simple configuring this plugin, no other configurations required. But if you want to purchase the premium version, you can have more control, but I don't think that's even required. This is all you need. And once you do that, you're good to go. Okay. Now those marketing stuff and all the nag screens are gone, but still the dashboard looks ugly and it's full of links that will take you off the website. And especially if this is a client website, you don't want that. You can totally hide most of these things as well. So how do you do that? Well, again, go to plugins, click on add new and install a plugin called WP code. I've already made a tutorial on this plugin. It's really simple. And for this plugin, you don't even need to write any code. You can activate many snippets using this plugin. So it's this one, WP code insert headers and footers. I'll leave a link to the tutorial I made on this, right? Once you install and activate this plugin. So the first thing I want to do is to go to dashboard and using the screen options, I want to disable all the boxes and I just, I'll just click on this maybe I'll just have at a glance, that's it. I'll just uncheck all these boxes first. So everything is gone. So I just have pages and it shows my theme. If you want, you can even disable this, but we'll just keep it just to know about our website and the number of pages. You can also use any third party plugins to customize the dashboard. I'll make tutorials on that in the coming days. Stay tuned for that. So once you disable this, click on the screen options. Once you uncheck all the options, now go back to your code snippets plugin, click on add new from here, select admin and just click on use snippet for hide screen options. So essentially this will hide the screen option so that no one can even turn on the screen options even when they want to. So just activate this and click on update. Now you go to dashboard. You don't even see the screen options here, right? So it's just this entry and it's really clean. No nag screens, no marketing stuff, not even WordPress stuff. It's really clean. So this is how you can keep your WordPress dashboard neat and clean. 
For more tutorials like this, head over to WordPress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel and I'll link the tutorial on WP code in the description. Check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.